I'm starting to love myself. I told the Lord all my faults that I saw when I looked in the mirror. My prayer is, help me to love me because I have hated myself for so long. Today, I thought about the way I looked and I smiled and embraced it for the first time. I am beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. That's what this video is about today. I struggled. I struggled for so many years of hating myself. I remember when the girls, my friends, that I was around my besties, and um, I was about 16, 17, and they were smaller than me. And mind you, at the time, I was wearing a 14. And uh, I was wearing a 13, 14, and they were smaller than me. I had... You know, a little heavy boobs, more boobs than they were. And um, they were good to fellas. Whether it was in church, in the streets, you know, when we go to stores or whatever. And it hurted me for so long. It hurted me. But they always, they always kept talking to me. Where it is, Tawana, you're pretty. They always, my mom, my dad. As I grew up in my um, 18, 19, 20s after high school. All right, let me backtrack a little. During high school, you know, by me at the time of boobs was um, a bit bigger than the other girls on, but it wasn't really huge and I would walk down the hall and we had three levels at our school I, I'm from Tampa and I went to Hillsborough High School and I would walk down the hall and on the third floor on one period is where it seemed like it seemed like everybody wanted to huddle on that floor and you had to walk down the hallway and people on both sides and their backs was against the wall and it's just like a, a walkway that you walk through and I had to get through the walkway to get to my other class and as I were walking they used to call me names big boobs I'm not going to big titties, um, all kind of names. And it hurt so bad. I never told my parents because I knew how my mom and my dad would have been, especially my mom. And you know, when your mom coming to the school, that's more embarrassing. So I took it. I took it for three years. I went to the high school. I graduated. And I thought I was over it. Then. I moved. Um, to another city. I got a job and moved to another city. And the friends that I hung out there. The friends that I hung out. In the other city. They would go out all the time. And by me having low self-esteem, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. My self-esteem was damaged. So, they would say, call Tawanda. She'll babysit. She's a stay-home mom. Well, and I didn't have kids at the time. She's the one that stay home. Call her. It hurt it. But it was true because I could not find the self-confidence in myself 
to go in it where all I saw when I looked in the mirror was ugly. I hated myself. I questioned God, why did he make me this way? So, excuse the tears. <laughs> so, um, I got married. And um, when I met this young, this, this person, I was like, wow, he wants me. So we got married. And um, it wasn't long that he left me. Now, we didn't rush into it because we were talking, I would say, four years. If I'm not mistaken, four years. And we got married, and um, he left me after two years, and he left me for another woman that was smaller than me. And all in my eyes, I could see that was more beautiful than me. And I thought I was going to go slap crazy, but it was the Lord and my son, and me going to church and the preaching of the, the truth and the word that kept me in my right mind. Thank you, Jesus. So, I got over that. It took a long time, too. But I got over it. And I met someone else. And I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. This guy is so good looking. He he's working. Um, he's a working man. He's so good looking. Blah 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 blah. All down to dependable. Pay his bills on time. Yes, all of the above. And so one day, I had bought something, and um, I tried it on, and he was looking at TV, and I was wondering why he wouldn't um really pay me no attention you know anymore that you know so I said okay maybe it's me that need to spice up myself so I bought some and um I tried it on and I went in front of him I said how does this look you like this he would look and I called his name I said do you like hey how this look on me he said mm-hmm and I said, what? I don't look sexy to you. This don't turn you on. He said, no, your body. It don't turn me on. And what he told me was, yeah. It was so hurtful. I didn't let him know. But it was so hurtful. But I was, still didn't have that much confidence in myself. I stayed with him because I felt I couldn't. Did nobody else want me? And all those years I stayed with him, he beat me down. And I'm not saying with his fist. I'm not saying physically. I'm not saying curse me out. But he beat me down. And when I tried to get his attention in any kind of way, it just tired me out. I finally let him go. It's been a long time. But one day, I had to learn to love me. I had to. I was miserable. I didn't want to go nowhere. 
my sisters in the church would say, Tawanda, why you hurry up and go to the car? Get out and walk around. And I would say, no. And they didn't understand why. But I had been so hurt, damaged. But I had to find confidence in myself. And so what I started doing, I started praying and asking the Lord to let me love me more than I have. And he have been doing that finally after so, so many years. Ever since I was 15 up until now. So what I started doing was putting myself around um, things I would see that would remind me of me that I'm beautiful. And I had picked up this journey journal, I'm sorry, and it says beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And it's quoted by Coco Chanel. And I say, yeah. I need this. So I've been writing in my journal. And then I also found something else not so long ago. It says, in or is this here? And it says, in order to to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Coco Chanel. So society say. You, back then, you supposed to be skinny. You supposed to have the long hair. You supposed to have a big booty. You supposed to have pow, pow, pow. But if everybody in the world had that, all the women, who would be different? And then I started smiling when I read that. And I said, I want to be different. This is my favorite cup I love. And it says, good morning, gorgeous. And when I drink out of it, when I see it, all I can say to myself is, good morning, gorgeous. I had to realize, I want a man now. Don't get me wrong. I love men. But at one point in time, I felt, uh, for a long years and years and years and years, I felt that it took a man to make me happy. I had to have a man to make me happy. I, have a, I had to have a man to make me feel beautiful. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. I got to be beautiful and know that I am inside and out before God give me to a man. I'm sorry about the tears but this is something I want to share to the plus size women and then um, a couple of weeks ago I was looking at one of the someone that I had subscribed to and um, I'm not going to mention her name because I didn't get permission to. And I was looking and I love her vlog, her um, channel, I'm sorry. And on her channel, she have a lot of followers. And I was like, oh, she's beautiful. She's like a model, but she's very small. And, and I'm not hating. Don't think I'm hating. She's a beautiful person. And she had sat down and did a, a talk and said, If you are, in so many words, she said, if you're a plus size woman and you want to like build confidence or, you know, want to love you like yourself, I can't remember exactly what she was saying, but this is what she was leading up to. Then you need to gear yourself toward plus size channels. 
And I sat there and I said, you know that's right. Because I'm sitting here watching all the time her out, uh, outfit. Other day sometimes um, when she put on and she do her outfits, you know, her hauls and stuff. And I'm sitting there, God, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it don't hang on my body like that. But she proved she made a point. And then that's the day that I clicked on plus size women hauls and I was like wow not not putting them down but wow they're a little heavier than me but look at the confidence they have oh my god look at the beauty in them if in them inside and out oh that's the confidence I want and the more I looked at it the more I say yeah I'm going to get that. The more I wanted to make a YouTube page, but I saw my flaws, um, channels, and I saw my flaws and all my negative I had about myself. Now I said, I can do it. I can do it. And I am going to do it. Thank you all for listening to my story. And I want to read one more part in my journal, another page in my journal that I wrote. And then I'm going to say goodbye from now. Make sure you subscribe. And if you don't, it's fine. I just hope that some woman, whether they plus size, middle size, skinny size, any size, any color, whatever, they got something out of this. And to love yourself regardless. And don't blame God. Because everything that God makes is beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, this is another day that I wrote this. Well, today I had a great and blessed time at the second Sunday meeting. My soul was blessed. And it was such an honor to be in the presence of the Lord. Today, also, an elder stood behind me in the food line and asked me, was I in line? I said, yes. He then said, what are you getting? I froze, grabbed my food and son then I left. I left smiling. I felt very good and pretty inside and out. Thank you, Jesus, for that small confirmation that I still got it. Smiling. I'm learning to love me inside and out. I am beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. And no, he wasn't married, but he had never said anything to me before. But that day, hey, I was banging from the head to the toe. But just him saying that, recognizing me, it did a lot for me. And I needed that small little something, something there. So... I always write in my journal about beauty now. And I'll, each each week, once a week, I believe I'm going to start quoting my journal, a page of my journal on YouTube. Something private and personal that can help somebody. All right. God bless. Peace.